Hi, this is Garden Art Lesson uh, number five, Pollinators. This is a really fun lesson because we're going to do a number of different pollinators and it's a chance for the kids to collaborate, help each other, and make a group uh, mobile. So we're going to make coffee filter butterflies. Really pretty. That hang. All these hang. Little bees. which I think are adorable, and dragonflies, which are also very pretty. It's important to get the dragonfly to balance. So the materials we need, there's quite a few different materials, a glue gun, we need twigs, maple tree helicopters is what the kids call these, they're maple tree seeds, you find them on the ground all the time, alder um, seeds from alders, small spruce or pine cones, glitter paint, variety of string for hanging, could use embroidery thread, thin, this is garden wire, it's a, a very flexible wire and it's green and it's easy to use and easy to cut, some wooden beads, pipe cleaners, yellow and black, paintbrushes, watercolors, water-soluble markers. This is a piece of just regular plastic from a plastic bag, but you can use lace or gauze or anything. This is to make the bee wings. Hair clips, the kind that, uh, you know, these long kind that you just press to open them. Coffee filters, water for the watercolors, and an interesting branch that you're going to hang everything on. So this one's quite twisty and interesting. So the first thing we're going to do is choose our wings for the dragonfly. So two sets. They should actually sort of be close to the same size. And we're going to put the glitter glue on them because dragonfly wings are iridescent. And we're going to let them dry. Then we're going to start our butterfly. So we need the clip, a piece of string, a piece of black pipe cleaner, and two coffee filters. Make a little room here. So when you talk about pollinators, uh, it's how um, we need them to pollinate the plants in order that the plants make fruit. And it's sort of a collaboration between nature and human beings. So the theme of this lesson is also collaboration. So we're going to have the, some of the older students in the class help the younger ones, and we're going to all try to make something together. So you take your, to start, you take your two coffee filters, and there's two ways you can do this. You can use water-soluble markers, or you can use watercolors themselves. And uh, you're going to look at pictures of butterfly wings, if you have a book or something like that, or something on the internet, monarchs or the, the bright blue ones, whatever, just so the children get an idea of all the different patterns that butterflies have. And then you're going to decorate the coffee filters with a pattern. So I'm going to do this one with the markers and this one with watercolor to show two different techniques. The markers are actually simpler and you're going to apply the color and then use a watercolor um, brush and, and water to blend the colors. Okay, applying the And 
we just take a big brush and a little bit of color, spread it on the wings, and the colors should run and, and blend. Let's get it all coated with water and put it aside and let it dry. And we'll do one with watercolors. This is just a simple watercolor set. So you can just apply paint however you want, or you can make wing patterns. Okay, so that's the watercolor one. Okay, so while those are drying, we're going to get a pipe cleaner and cut off about four inches or so, a piece that size, fold it in half, and twist it around the top part of this clip, like that. Bend them a little bit, and there's your antennas. Then we're gonna take some cord. Stretchy cord is good because on the mobile, they'll, they'll move and bounce a bit when you move it. And We just tie some cord on. Okay. So the next step, this isn't quite dry enough, but uh, I can do it anyway, is to kind of grab the middle on both sides of your coffee filter and kind of squish it together and then fan it out a bit to make some wings. And then you open your clip and put the first set of wings on, kind of centering it. It's really easy to do. Same thing with the second coffee filter. Put them in your clip a little bit farther back from the first one. There is our coffee filter butterfly. And we have two. Okay, next we are making the dragonfly. This is the guy here. So we've already painted his wings, so because they are they are iridescent creatures. Kids really like learning that word, iridescent. I'm going to snip off the little ends and I'm going to choose a twig. I have a variety of sizes here and find a bead for the head. I already found one. I, I chose a light colored bead. Make sure that sticks and then I'm going to attach it with the glue gun. Now the glue gun can be dangerous and you don't want really young children handling it. But if you have children in your class that are 10, 12, 14, again, they can help the little ones or the instructor can do it. So I just put a dab of glue to hold it all together. It dries really quickly. Oops. Then we figure out where we want to place the wings. I'm going to put the bigger wings in front and the smaller ones behind. So maybe about, I don't know, half inch down, another little drop of glue. Another little drop of glue. I must say, this is one of the projects 
that was really, really popular. They got very excited about this. I'm not sure exactly why, but it went over well. You might glue your finger to it. Okay, we're gonna let the, that dry before we attach the cord. Okay, our third pollinator is the bee. Um, I'm gonna show how to make the bigger bee out of the spruce cone because it's a lot easier for the young ones. So you have your spruce cone. You need a yellow pipe cleaner. You need some of the garden wire. And you need some plastic or cloth or whatever you want to use for wings. Round on the ends. And a little bit, comes in a little bit in the middle. Okay, so, oh, and we need some cord to hang it from. So the first thing we do is squish the wings, similar to what we did with the butterfly wings, and tie the cord around it. For the young ones, again, the instructor might have to help with this, or the older kids. And just tie the wings on that cord. Then you're going to tie the wings onto the bee body. Trim it a little bit. Those are slightly uneven, so I'm going to trim one side. There, starting to take shape. Then take more of your cord and just tie some on. This is going to be the cord that the bee hangs from. Next you want to do the antennas. So you're going to put the antennas on the thinner part of the pine cone. See there's a thick part and a thin part. So you just, just like we did with the butterfly, fold that in half and you can give it a partial twist. Actually not too much of a twist. And just put it on. And there's your bee. It's not too bad. <laughs> Lots of bees. Okay, so now that our dragonfly is dry, we're going to put him on a cord. But with the dragonfly, balancing is tricky because of his shape with the heavy head. So we're going to have a longer cord and tie, tie it onto the front, behind the head. And then the other end on the back behind the back wing. There, he's nicely balanced, kind of flying sideways. Then we get our branch. Now you can go wild with this. You can get a really big branch if you want to make a big mobile and have all the kids participate. Or you can get little branches and they can each make their individual mobile. But as I mentioned earlier, a lot of the fun of this is working together. So. Get your branch and just have the kids start attaching their creations. To start, you can just make a knot that's easy to undo because you don't know how, uh, you know, you want to hang these at different levels to make it interesting. So I'm just going to tie these on here and uh, see how it looks. All right, so there, that's pretty magical. <laughs> See you next time.